viewers, welcome to Agri Watch. Today, 20 February. Today's highlights. Tribal farmers earn lands through drip irrigation. And the next one is President inaugurates conference on energy and environment today. In detail. Tribal farmers earning lands through drip irrigation. Tribal farmers in 68 villages of Harichandapur block who were dependent highly on monsoon and harvested just one crop in a year have used drip irrigation to reap benefits of crops for commercial purpose. No electricity, no pakka houses are there in the tribal village of Tangripal in Kejuda district of Odisha. But the technique of drip irrigation has reached the small farmers for big benefits. Drip irrigation is controlled irrigation wherein water is allowed to drip slowly to the roots of plants, either from the soil surface or buried below the surface, thereby efficiently using water and nutrients. The handholding support and training from the Collectives for Integrated Livelihood Initiative, an organization of Tata Trust, has led to the transformation in the village. Learning about drip irrigation technique from the Collective for Integrated Livelihood Initiation, 11 families adopted it in three acre farmland in Kottagatti hamlet of Tangripal. The cost of drip irrigation was rupees 1 lakh of which 50% was borne by the collectives for integrated livelihood initiative and the rest 50% by the farmers. The farmers in the districts are keen on adopting this practice. Women tribal farmers are make, taking the lead with support from the local NGOs collaborated with the CINL. A woman farmer also challenged her husband and opted for drip and mulching on one ten acre in her farm and managed to earn rupees 40,000. The CINL aims to make the farmers self-dependent and phase out from the villages in the next two years. And the next news is President inaugurates conference on energy and environment today. Uh, President of India, Sri Ramnath Govind, inaugurated an international conference and exhibition on energy and environment, the challenges and opportunities. At New Delhi, the conference was organized by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research that is the CSIR. On this important occasion, a uh, president said that the era of rapid technology advancements like energy and environment are major concern not only about the developing countries but also for developing countries. The global trend shows that the coal will remain the predominant energy source for most countries, including India, while renewable sources will also grow. India is committed to provide power to all citizens at an affordable cost as well as boost the national economy through an industrial revolution in tune with the industry 4.0. Let's move on to the crop of the day that is Jawa and it is also called Sorghum. The scientific name is Sorghum by color. It is also called Camel Crop and the chromosome number is 2 and equal to 20. It is a Carif Crop and its origin is Africa. The first sorghum hybrid is called CSH1 and it's uh, Strigas root parasite is sorghums. The high yielding variety is M351 and multi cut fodder variety is SSG581. That's all today's news and highlights. Please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for daily updates. Thank you for watching this video.